Even with all our modern technology, some objects are still a nightmare to transport. On this list, a 300-ton gas tank only ranks as number 8. The top spot, located at an altitude of 5,000 meters and worth $10 billion, is something nobody dares to move. We are talking about everything from delicate tempered glass requiring three separate escorts to a swarm of 30 million bees threatening to revolt. We will even look at a 390-ton generator stator that took nine long months to travel just 124 kilometers. These are the world's 10 most difficult transport jobs. Which one do you think deserves the top spot? Let me know your ranking in the comments below. Top 10. The Generator Stator Can you believe it? A short 124-kilometer journey with a transport fee of 1 million euros. The boss gave a 10-day deadline, but the crew knew even 60 days might not be enough. Their cargo was a 12.4 million euro generator stator. This 390-ton machine is not just massive, its internal structure is incredibly complex. One small bump could destroy it. The route required navigating narrow streets, traveling down the Rhine River, crossing roundabouts, and passing over weak bridges. To even exit the factory, a 90-degree turn demanded a 1,000-horsepower self-propelled modular transporter. But this vehicle could not handle the port's ramp, so a temporary platform had to be built. The transport through a small town of 40,000 people drew huge crowds, blocking the streets and requiring a police escort. After finally reaching the port, the stator was loaded onto a ferry traveling at a slow 8 kilometers per hour. But the hardest part came after landing, a low underpass and a bridge that could not support the weight. The team brought in a special bridge transport vehicle, which lifted the stator and distributed its massive load, allowing it to pass. The final 10-kilometer stretch, which included a roundabout and eight culverts, took the entire night. From planning to delivery, the whole operation took nine months. Top 9. The Gas Storage Tank If this massive gas storage tank tipped over, the construction team would lose their shirts. It was a disaster that almost got the mayor in deep trouble. On March 20, 2020, two transport vehicles, with a combined gross weight of 600 tons, were crawling along a narrow country road near Barcelona, Spain, at just 5 kilometers per hour. The mission was to move two enormous gas tanks 30 kilometers to a freight center. It sounded simple, but the tanks were gigantic, 40 meters long, 7 meters high, and weighing 240 tons each. An experienced team of over 100 people was hired, and they had notified the government a year in advance to ensure crowd control. But even with all that planning, the worst happened. While navigating a sharp turn by a field, one tank suddenly tipped over with a tremendous crash. The crew had no equipment capable of lifting it. It took over two weeks of negotiations with the local government to borrow three 100-ton cranes. The road itself had to be widened from one lane to two. Finally, with extreme caution, the engineers managed to get the massive tank back in place and safely to its destination. But the incident taught them a valuable lesson. Top 8. The Belaz Truck That is not a gap in a wall. It is the space between the tires of a truck. This is the Belaz 75710, the world's largest mining dump truck, an absolute beast of steel. It is over 20 meters long, 8 meters high, and makes a standard SUV look like a toy car. This monster is not for your daily commute. It is powered by two V16-cylinder diesel engines, each one producing 2,333 horsepower, for a combined total of 4,666 horsepower. Its Siemens MMT 500 AC traction system gives it a maximum payload of 490 tons. But how do you transport something this enormous? You do not. Whether by land, sea, or air, it is simply impossible. The Bell AZ 75710 is manufactured in pieces and assembled on-site in a massive production workshop. It takes thousands of workers over a month to put together the hundreds of thousands of parts. The moment this king of the road finally rolls out of the factory, you can feel its power even through the screen. Top set to automobiles. Ever wonder how thousands of new cars get shipped around the world? The answer is this behemoth, the roll-on, roll-off cargo ship. These vessels are essentially massive, floating parking garages, some with deck space equivalent to 10 football stadiums, 
capable of holding anywhere from 7,000 to 10,000 vehicles. When the cars arrive at port, they are driven one by one up a large hydraulic ramp and into the ship's hull. Crew members then park each vehicle in a designated spot and use special locking tools to secure it for the journey. It is not just cars. These ships can handle large agricultural machinery and even entire train locomotives. But this method is far from simple, especially with the rise of new energy vehicles. On February 17, 2022, a ship carrying 4,000 luxury cars caught fire in the Atlantic Ocean near Portugal. All 4,000 vehicles were lost, a total loss of $355 million. In a separate incident, a cargo ship traveling from China with 3,000 vehicles caught fire in the Gulf of Mexico. It burned for 20 straight days, destroying every car on board, including 70 pure electric and 680 hybrid models, for a loss of over $200 million. Top 6. Bees This man is attempting the impossible, transporting 30 million bees 700 kilometers. 55-year-old Ivan took this grueling job for its high pay, a task he would soon regret. First, his team had to pack the beehives into 300 separate boxes. It had just rained, and the ground was a slippery, muddy mess. The truck could not make it up the steep slope, forcing them to use a forklift to shuttle every single hive one by one. They used heavy smoke to keep the bees calm and prevent them from stinging during the transfer. Once on the road, Ivan hit a mountain pass with what felt like 99 hairpin turns, each one a hell-level test of his driving skill. It took him the entire night just to clear that one section. But the final stretch was even worse, a muddy downhill track completely unsuitable for his heavy truck. With no way to turn back, he had to push forward. Tree branches began striking the hives, and the 30 million bees became dangerously agitated. Ivan knew that if he didn't act fast, they would swarm. He jumped out, grabbed a chainsaw, and began frantically cutting back the overhanging branches. He then cleared heavy rocks from the path by hand. Utterly exhausted, he finally cleared the way and reached the destination. A forest of rare leatherwood trees, a paradise for his bees. Top 5. Wild Animals This is David, a guard at a national park in Namibia. He is on a special mission to relocate wild animals to Waterberg Plateau Park, a preserve with far more vegetation and food. But moving these animals is incredibly difficult. Catching them by hand is not an option. Instead, David and his team use a clever system. A small airplane herds the animals from the air, driving them toward a massive maze-like funnel made of canvas. This maze has only one exit, a ramp leading directly into the transport truck. It takes six long hours just to get the first group loaded. The drive that follows is agonizingly slow, as David's only priority is to keep the animals calm and safe. After another six-hour journey, he finally arrives at the new park. When the truck doors open, the animals burst out, sprinting into the vast, open grasslands, finally free to enjoy their new home. But for David, the job is just beginning. This single trip transported less than one-tenth of the total animals he needs to move. He has to turn around and do it all over again. Top 4. Grain Many people assume shipping grain is simple. After all, grain cannot run away, and it does not seem dangerous. But the reality is the opposite. Once a bulk carrier is loaded with corn or wheat, it is like arming a time bomb. The crew is on edge the entire time. The danger lies in what is called the angle of repose. When grain is loaded, it naturally forms a stable triangular pile. But out at sea, as the ship pitches and rolls, that grain begins to shift. This gradually increases the angle of the pile, creating a dangerous situation. Unlike liquid, grain has friction. The particles lock together, forming a single massive block. If the ship tilts, the entire mass of grain can shift to one side. But when the ship rolls back, the grain does not flow back to its original position. It stays put, shifting the vessel's center of gravity. This imbalance can, and often does, cause the entire ship to capsize. Designers have tried to mitigate this by adding angled corners to the cargo holes or installing dividers, but these solutions are not foolproof. On top of the risk of capsizing, the crew must constantly monitor temperature and humidity to prevent mold and pests. It is no wonder the shipping costs for imported grain are sky high. Top 3. The Submarine 
This giant German U-boat was decommissioned, and its new mission was a four-kilometer road trip to a museum. But moving a 500-ton submarine, even a short distance, is an incredible challenge. The task fell to an enormous hydraulic platform trailer built by the German company Scheuerle. This 50-meter-long beast, equipped with 256 tires and a 1,500-ton capacity, features individually steering axles to adapt to any terrain. The submarine was already positioned on special railway bogies, so the trailer just had to roll underneath and lift the entire assembly. The real difficulty, however, was the journey itself. The convoy immediately faced an obstacle it could not pass under. Using the trailer's sophisticated hydraulic steering system, operators meticulously tilted the massive submarine, allowing it to glide through the low clearance without a scratch. As the convoy pressed on, its sheer size attracted massive crowds, making the narrow route even harder to navigate. Operators held their breath as they crawled over uneven surfaces and tight corners. The procession was painfully slow. It looked as if going even one second faster could spell disaster. A single miscalculation would have been catastrophic. In the end, thanks to the crew's incredible precision, the U-boat finally rolled safely into the museum. Top 2. Glass have you ever wondered how something as fragile as a massive sheet of glass is transported? The process starts inside the factory with a strange-looking machine. This first vehicle has four large, flexible suction cups on an arm that can extend nearly five meters high, allowing it to work at any angle. It glides into the factory, gently attaches to a single pane, and lifts it away from the stack. However, this machine can only handle a limited weight. For heavier loads, a second machine is brought in. This one uses two giant mechanical arms to firmly clamp an entire batch of glass, tilting back to lift up to 33 tons at once. But this heavy lifter is only designed to move the glass to the factory door. For the actual road transport, a third, highly specialized vehicle arrives. It is a green truck that looks ordinary from the front, but its cargo area is completely hollow and has no floor. The glass is placed on a special rack on the ground and the truck slowly drives over it, swallowing the entire rack. Internal clamps then secure the glass, and the rack itself locks in to become the truck's floor. This three-vehicle chain is why glass becomes so much more expensive the moment it leaves the warehouse. Top 1. The Radio Telescope At 5,000 meters above sea level in Chile's Atacama Desert, you will find the ALMA Observatory. The air is thin, and in some places, it has not rained for 400 years making it the perfect place to observe the universe. Here, 66 high-precision radio telescopes work together, a collection valued at $10 billion. This is why nobody dares to truly move them. Instead, these 100-ton instruments must be constantly and delicately repositioned. Just like you might move your phone to find a better signal, these telescopes are arranged in different combinations to capture new data from the cosmos. But moving a 100-ton, hypersensitive instrument is considered the most difficult transport job on Earth. A single jolt could destroy its delicate internal structure. To accomplish this, the observatory uses the one-of-a-kind ALMA transporter. It has two 1,300-liter fuel tanks and two 700-horsepower diesel engines, specially turbocharged to function in the thin, high-altitude air. The driver slowly maneuvers the U-shaped transporter directly under the telescope, operating completely blind and guided only by two spotters. Hydraulic claws lift and secure the telescope, and the driver then crawls across the desert, navigating around other telescopes, to a new, preset location. Here, workers remotely control the transporter's 14 pairs of flexible steering wheels, making micro-adjustments to perfectly lock the telescope into three specific positioning grooves. And that is just for one telescope. It is an unimaginably grueling task. So, if you were tasked with moving one of these logistical nightmares, how would you handle it? Let me know your ideas in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.